Monica and I thought I would do a video, another one just to update you. It's uh, towards the end of week two of my gastric bypass. I had gastric bypass May 16, 2011 and uh, I don't really have any weight numbers to give you guys because I'm keeping it a surprise. Um, I don't even know. I'm waiting until this coming Thursday when I see the doctor to see how much weight I've lost. but. I can tell I've lost weight and my husband can and co-workers and I guess my clients at work they can tell too so kind of excited you know playing kind of guessing numbers um this week I've been doing the pureed food and and I thought ugh pureed food but let me tell you absolutely love it after you know coming off of liquids it's pretty nice I actually had um a little bit of spaghetti and uh um uh, and meatballs and I put that in the blender and um, I ate just a little bit of it and of course uh, but my problem that I'm running into here lately is not getting my protein in and I'm trying <laughs> and it's not working and so I, I mean I'm taking my multivitamins and I'm taking my calcium but I just can't quite seem to get enough protein in and I don't want to be one of those people whose hair falls out. Oh, but uh, maybe if any of you guys have any suggestions out there on how I can get um, protein in, maybe just a a trick or something you do. Cause I mean I'm doing the protein shake in the morning, but uh, maybe I just don't have a good protein shake. I don't know. Um, so my problem is is that when I measure something out for protein, I just can't eat it all. And, and I can't eat during work, you know, during business hours I can't eat. All I can do is drink, so I don't know if they have, like, protein water or, or anything like that. But I'm getting kind of tired of the, the thickness of protein shakes is where my problem is coming in. Um, other than that, I have a friend who found out her, her surgery actually got bumped up to June 6th or 7th. And looking forward to that for her. Yay! Um... Not really much to talk about. Uh, actually, there is something to talk about. I think I had uh, my one of my first dumping syndromes. I can't remember if I talked about this in the last video or not, but I drank water too quickly. And I thought I was going to die. Um, my stomach, just excruciating pain in my stomach. It came right back up, and as it was coming up, I had an accident. <laughs> you know, we're not going to go into that. It was not a pretty accident. Um, I had to get back in the shower and get back ready for work. <laughs> um, so, uh, I've learned my, I'm learning lessons slowly, like drink your water slowly. And, um, because I'm so used to just gulping water down, just, and, uh, and, and, and I've noticed that's one thing that I miss, is not being able to drink all the fluids at the amount that I want, but it's an adjustment being well made. And, uh, you know, and today, me and my husband actually went out to dinner, and uh, I had a baked potato and, uh, and some steamed uh, vegetables. Uh, and she brought the two plates out, and I, I, my problem is I don't know when I'm full full, and I don't know when I'm hungry because I don't feel hunger pains at all. So I could go all day and not be hungry. And then I realized that towards the, because we've been so busy at work that I'm not getting lunches until about maybe 3, almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'll go all day without eating. But in the past, I would be sick if I did that. But now it's like I don't get sick, I just get headaches. So I don't know if that's my body's way of saying, hey, you're hungry, but I don't feel hunger pains. And I haven't felt hunger pains since the surgery. So I don't know if that's maybe a sign or or what it is, but so I guess my new challenge is learning how much I can eat because I guess I'm so used to looking at something, but like, oh, that's so small. Or, you know, and then when I finally eat it and realize that I got too much. 
So I, I guess that's the challenge now that I'm learning is how much can I eat, when do I feel satisfied, and when am I eating too much. And so that's, I guess, a new situation that I'm working on. It's like, is trying to figure that one out. Uh, other than that, everything's been going pretty good. Um, I made it all all this week at work, um, just fine. And uh, you know, I thought, hey, I wouldn't have a, a a problem, you know, or I thought I would have a problem at work. And it turns out, no, I made it just fine. Um, when I first got, you know, beginning of the week, I had a couple of dizzy spells, but after that, I made sure to. Uh, do what I was supposed to, get up a little early, get the dizzy spells out, and I have to make sure that I drink a pretty good bit before I go to bed so I don't feel dehydrated in the morning. And my, uh, now talk about to my scars, they're healing very, very well. Um, some of my uh, sterile strips have actually fallen off, and, and my incision sites are not itching as much. They itch every now and then, but they look like they're healing, and my puppy's got a squeaker toy if you can hear it um but this video is pretty long enough um i'm looking forward to monday monday i can start phase three which is soft foods i won't have to put them in the blender and make sure they're soft so yay and i get to do that for two weeks and then it's introducing regular food and um it, it's hard to describe my energy level this week has been phenomenal. I I haven't felt this good in a couple of years, and it's exciting. I, you know, this is how I feel now. I just can't wait to see how I feel after a month, or two months, or a year. And I just want to get up, and I just want to do things. And and my knees. I mean, I still have a little bit of pain with them, but nowhere compared to what I had, you know, right before surgery. Like, so even just losing probably what I have has already made me a better mobile person already and and I get so excited about thinking about the future because it, it to me I feel like I have a future now and for the longest time I felt like it was day to day and I'm just I'm just excited about life again and I absolutely love that feeling so but this video is long enough and I will try and do another video possibly in a couple of days but I want to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day and, be, and make sure that you're safe no drinking and driving we don't want to do that mess but um all right guys I will see you later bye I don't know where I don't know